Well, number one, Roly, you have to stay hydrated if you're going to be outside for any extended period of time. Now, MIM said they are expecting those numbers to be higher for this summer, but they want to make sure everybody out there understands what to look for in case of a heat related emergency. With temperatures rising in the summer, people have their ways of cooling off. I like to drink water, so I drink a lot of cool water, but at the same time, I like to swim. For Delano Whitfield and his family, they usually cool down by visiting the splash pad at River Market Park. And making sure his kids don't overheat is always on his mind. Uh, it's real important. I told her today to not wear uh, pants, but she did anyway. So, but we still came out and got wet. So just as long as you're making sure they hydrate. And they're proactive in other ways too. I mostly drink cold drinks and most likely stay over at MIMS, they've already responded to over 30 heat-related emergencies since May. Heat exhaustion mainly. I haven't seen a heat stroke yet, uh, but if we are getting hotter every day, we can anticipate that we probably will. First responders are making sure medics stay hydrated and aware of heat advisories on top of keeping their ambulances cool. Ken Kelly with the Arkansas Ambulance Association says the elderly and younger children are more prone to heat exhaustion. When we get that call for nausea, vomiting, dizziness, uh, that sort of thing we always are thinking about is that heat related illness. He says a heat response can come on quickly. I take very proactive steps to wear, you know, light clothing, uh, try to stay in the shade as much as possible, uh, perform work in small increments, don't try to overdo it, uh, stay hydrated and with water. Hopefully a lot of people realize uh, heat exhaustion prior to it becoming a crisis and turning into a heat stroke. If you start to feel sick and you're over sweating, don't guess call EMS. If you think you're having a heat related emergency, don't guess, call EMS. Now, the hottest related heat emergency month that they had last year was in August, according to Kelly, but it's looking like those numbers are coming in earlier for this summer. So again, like he said, don't guess, call EMS. Reporting live out here in Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News.